Welcome to the man cave, which is a constant work in progress. But look what I just built. A 40 rod rod rack holder. Built that with my bare hands right over there in the in the workshop corner. We got something really exciting today. I've been wanting to do this for a long time and y'all have been asking me for a very long time for more underwater footage. And this right here is the GoFish cam, which is an underwater camera. And in this episode, we're gonna send it down 600 feet and try to catch a fish. Yeehaw! The game plan is we're gonna run off the coast of Key Largo and head south to the Isla Mirada Humps. And at the Isla Mirada Humps, that's where we're gonna do some deep dropping. Now I'm gonna show you guys my setup and then we're gonna go fishing. So deep dropping is fairly simple. You have a lead weight, usually a pretty heavy one, depending on the current. We're gonna be fishing in 600 feet of water, so we're probably gonna use a four pound lead weight. Depending on the current, we might have to boost it up. I mean, <laughs> I got an eight pound weight. Heck, I got a freaking 12 pound weight. <laughs> but we should be fine with just the four pound weight. Now you wanna attach your weight to a chicken rig. If you don't already know, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com, all the chicken rigs that I ever use in my videos are these rigs right here. They come in three packs and they're a great price. Boom, take them out of the package. The hooks are all wrapped up. Just um, undo them and basically a chicken rig is just a line with a bunch of hooks on it. So you have a loop at one end and then another loop at the other end. And one loop is bigger than the other loop. And the bigger loop is for your weight. So take your weight. Put it through there and then back through here. And boom, just like that. So you just loop on your weight. Bam, easy peasy. We gotta attach our go fish can. And you don't want to lose this camera just because uh, some of your gear breaks. And I got a solution for that. We're going to drop this brand new one down tomorrow, but I also have a second one. This is the one I've been using in my videos. And all I have attached is some 40 pound mono going to a small snap swivel. And this is what I'm going to attach to the other end of the chicken loop. Snap, snap. All right, so one last time. I have my weight going to my chicken rig, which uh, uses 100 pound mono. And this chicken rig then goes to 40 pound mono to the go fish cam. So when, when the go fish cam is sitting like this and drifting along the bottom, the camera is filming down and you can see any fish that bite the hooks. And the reason I put this 40 pound here is if any of these hooks get stuck on a rock or your lead weight gets stuck in a rock, this is what's gonna break. And the part that we're gonna attach to the rod doesn't break. So that way you at least get your camera back. It's basically your, your breakaway. Very important to have if you care about your camera, which I do, because this thing is freaking awesome. All right, we're almost done here. Last step, you need your fishing pole. In this case, we're running the Banax 1000 electric reel, my favorite electric reel I've ever owned. I'm gonna add the links to this reel, all this gear in the video description below. If you wanna go out there and go catch yourself some fish, just the same way I'm doing, just go below, all the links are there. But anyways, the Banex 1000, I have over a thousand yards of 65 pound braid on here. And then I have about a hundred feet of 100 pound top shot. And that top shot, very simply, ends with a crimped on big swivel. Take that swivel and just snap on your go fish cam. Easy peasy. If your rig gets stuck on the bottom, it's gonna snap off here at the 40 pound mono, not here on the 100 pound mono, and you'll get your camera back. And that is my setup pretty easy. One last quick thing for those of you wondering how the go fish cam works you just unscrew this top off here there's this slot right there for your micro usb chip and when you're ready to record you just move this over then you'll notice a light turn on in the front boom there's the red record button and you just push it green light is now blinking that means it's recording then you 
screw the top back on and it's recording and your go fish cam is ready to be dropped down into the depths i don't want to lose you tomorrow baby all right guys i'll see you in the morning pop and just like that we got the boat fully loaded all rods on boat caitlin on the boat now we're gonna head offshore On our way to the Isla Mirada Humps, we've been getting pretty wet because it's a little wavy out here. I think it's gonna look flat on video, but it's pretty wavy. Right, Caitlin? Yeah. We've been getting soaked. So now we're trolling. Got two rods with the weedless squid rigs trolling out back, and we're just gonna troll to the deep drop spot so we don't get so wet. Fish on! Oh, oh. Yeah, girl! It's off? No! Damn! We got a really nice hit trolling, but we've made it to our deep drop spots. I'll show you this rig we're dropping down real quick. Here's the four pound weight. We got our five hooks. And one of the hooks, it's supposed to be squid flavored plastic. Will it catch something? I don't know, but I want to try it out. And then we got the go fish cam at the end there. It's already recording. Drop our weight in. We have two and a half miles of current kind of a lot, but it's not terrible. So, we'll just drop it down and then this is attached to a battery that we're using right there. And you hear the motor just turn on? Mm -hmm. That's assisted drop. Let's it go down real nice and smooth. Fingers crossed, let's see what we see. Boom, we got a fish on and it's coming up. I think it's a blue tile, what do you think? Yeah. Well, I mean, just because you put that in my head, because you said we're in blue tile. You guys already know what it is because you've got the underwater camera footage. This reel's handling it like a boss. I see color down there. Yeah, oh, so do I. I know what it is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's, it's a mini tile. Very small one. Look at that blue on him. Okay. Oh, uh, I mean, that, he's a, you know, that's good sandwich size. Yeah, there's no size limit oh, on that. Okay. Yeah. Damn. Nice. Sandwich size blue tile, he's gonna be good eating, but let's drop that rig back on down and see if we get another bite.
Georgia. Oh my god. Oh my god, hi girl. On the South Florida Fishing Channel chicken rig. Oh my god, get him off of this. <laughs> It is so big. It does not look this big on camera. It is so big. Holy moly. <laughs> that is so big. He's huge. It's so big. Oh. Holy crap. How does it, how big does he look? He's huge. He's like he's as big as you. Holy smokes! Haha! <laughs> That's the biggest snowy grouper I've ever seen. Look at all the all the spots on his head. You see all the spots on his head? Bam! Snowy grouper for dinner! Oh, I could fit my mouth in there. Or my whole head. I could fit my head in there. Looks like we got another fish on. That, damn, that last snowy grouper. Woo! He's a big boy, mounting worthy. But, uh, oh, 10 yards, seven yards, six, five, four, three. What do we got here? Oh no. no, a baby snowy grouper. Well, that's not good because uh, you're only allowed one snowy per boat, so we gotta, we'll pop his air bladder and send him back down on a weight. So I popped his air bladder, um, squeezed him, got all the air out of him, so I got his organs back in his body. Now we're gonna send him back down with a weight and when he hits the bottom, I'm gonna tug it and it'll pop him off of this clip he's on. And See, he's right there. Mm -hmm. Now we'll send him back on down to the depths. Fingers crossed he's gonna be okay. He is just about to hit the bottom. One second, oh, there we go. He just hit the bottom. Take this guy and give it a nice, give it a couple nice yanks. Hopefully that should pop him right off. Yeah! Pretend like I got a big fish on here. Right? Marlin on! <laughs> Moby Dick! We'll bring our weight back up and hopefully he's not attached to it anymore. This weight's coming up real easy, so I think he came off. Boom, look at that! Nice! Okay, now he survived. So great, that's awesome. Now we can catch him another day. I think we're gonna ride back home now. And while I'm driving home with Caitlin, don't forget to buy yourselves like 10 packs of these South Florida Fishing Channel Deep Drop Rigs. These are the five hook, eight foot ones. They also come in 10 foot. They're both great. I'm at 79% fuel, so I need to sell some of these to fill it to 100%. <laughs> All right, God, let's go. Look at this guy. Jeez. Thank you. You're welcome. I got gloves this time <laughs> for uh, more grip. I forgot how slimy these grouper are. They're super slimy. Whoa, look at him go. Probably shouldn't have put the cutting board on an incline. Ooh, hoo, hoo. 
That's a big fillet. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Gotta move the table so he doesn't keep sliding away. Right here. That should be a little bit better. Now they have really, really big ribs in their rib cage, so I can't cut through those oh, with yeah. the, with this knife, at least. I can see them from here. <laughs> wow! Holy macaroni! Mm -hmm. wow. Look at that. smokes. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of meat up here in the head. We got the grouper cheeks right here. We can actually trim out the grouper cheeks. Which is a very soft meat. There, that's a grouper cheek. And then you have another nice chunk of meat right here. Oh, the throat, along with the rib cage, which I don't know, maybe we'll give it to one of our neighbors or something. But let's go ahead and skin this guy. You know, I don't think this knife is big enough to skin him, but I'll try. There you go. This, this knife's too small for this big of a fillet, but I'm gonna make it work. <sighs> Boom. Pretty darn good. Yeah, heck yeah. Oh That's gosh. a fat slab of meat. Woo! I'll finish flaying this guy, we'll bag up this meat, and then we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Juicy. We got a nice chunk of snowy grouper in this bag here, and we're about to take it to Snook's Bayside here in Key Largo. Woo! That's right, someone's gonna cook it for us. We're being a little lazy today, but we're also being neighbor neighborly friendly. We got we're giving this to Julius from Snookside Bayside. So we'll bring that with us and then, and we're giving this bag right here to Caitlin's nursing professor. So they should be happy with that. We're just giving fish away. You get a, <laughs> you get a snowy grouper, you get a snowy grouper. Let's go to Snookside Bayside. We love their um, pistachio. That's it, their pistachio encrusted. Oh, it's too dark, I'm so Woo. excited. Let's hit the road. Yeah, we're already late. <laughs> We're here at Snook's side. I hear the music playing already. You hear it? I hear it. You think it's live music? It kinda sounds like it. It's always live music. All right, we got our food. We got the pistachio encrusted. Man, it's looking good. And they even grilled up the grouper cheeks for us. Let's try those. There was copyrighted music playing in the background, so I'm just gonna do a little voiceover here. The grouper cheeks were excellent. Pistachio encrusted grouper, epic. And then I had a little 
grouper that had a crab cake on top of it with a lemon butter caper sauce. I said, cut off the camera, I need to eat, because that's this was some good stuff right here on our plates. And Caitlin agreed. So as we looked off into the sunset, watched the sun drop out of the sky, we reminisced about that big fish we caught. And boy, will this be a sunset to remember. Till next time, guys. <laughs> <laughs>